CEO Dean Harker may live to regret the decision to swap the sunny shores of Trinidad and Tobago for the job as coach of the struggling Poland national team. But the wily old fox has taken the struggling team and guided them to their first ever European Championships. After having a poor start, it looked like the Poles' best chance of qualifying was sneaking in behind Portugal in second place. But a 2-1 win against the Portuguese in October 2006 set them up for a run that saw them qualifying ahead of Portugal with a game to spare. Bean Harker stripped apart the team that disappointed in Germany 2006 and rebuilt his side. Celtic's keeper Arta Boruch replaced Jerzy Dudek and the captain's armband was given to Marek Zaratsky who had provided the creative spark. The main benefactor of Zaratsky's return to form has been Smolarek, who netted nine times in qualifying and we'll be looking to carry that form into the tournament proper. Poland kick off in Klackenfurt with a grudge game against longtime rivals Germany before playing co-host Austria in Vienna. Then they make their way back to Klagenfurt for the deciding game against Croatia. Poland are a much better side than they were in the 2006 World Cup, but I still think they're going to struggle to qualify. And obviously, Polish people are, of course, they're famous for pole dancing. There we are. And we're, we're, while we're at it, Billy, why don't we do the pole tax joke as well? Only Polish people should pay taxes on the pole tax, which is obviously not a topical joke anymore because the pole tax hasn't been around since Thatcher. And uh, you remember that old lady with the iron knickers. But um, let's have a look at the Polish and what they will have written on their bus, their sponsored bus, it will be Poland, because only sport and good fun counts. Oh, and if you don't like that, get yourself to England. They've got free healthcare.